The Magnificent Seven are the value stocks of today and tomorrow. They've skyrocketed this year despite the market waiting on rate cuts. NVIDIA up 173%, Meta 53%, Tesla now up 60% after being down 40% earlier this year, Google up 37%, Microsoft 24%, Apple 23% and Amazon 33%. That's one hell of a year for the Magnificent Seven. Their strength is undeniable and several of these companies are still growing their revenues at double digit rates. Warren Buffett famously said, if you aren't willing to own a stock for 10 years, don't even think about owning it for 10 minutes. Put together a portfolio of companies whose aggregate earnings march upward over the years and so also will the portfolio's market value. This advice is timeless. Picking the right stocks for the long haul can set you up for life. And make no mistake, we're in a bull market with new highs being set almost weekly, but you wouldn't know it from the media buzz. All you hear is negativity and recession fears. But here's the thing, staying committed through good and tough times is crucial for long-term success. It's never easy, but nothing worthwhile ever is. Look, I don't know what the markets are going to do, but I do know that for long-term investing, it's all about being in the right asset class. The Magnificent Seven are leading the way, proving their worth time and again. At the end of the day, investing in your best stocks is key, and today we're going to do a side-by-side -side beast mode fundamental analysis for what I call the Magnificent Six, and I'm excluding Amazon due to its lower profit margin. Let's dive in and see if we can find the top two or three stocks that will be magnificent. We're now at beastmodeanalysis.com and this is our side by side and a lot of fun. We got some really good companies today. We're starting off with Nvidia. They've got a PE ratio of 74. Meta comes in at 29.3. We've got Tesla 59.2, Google 28.4, Microsoft 40.2 and Apple 34.8. And if you need the ticker symbols, NVIDIA is NVDA, Meta, META, Tesla, TSLA. Google is G-O-O-G-L or G-O-O-G, Microsoft, MSFT, and Apple, AAPL. Now, I really believe that fundamental analysis is easy when you break it down into the right sections and doing it side by side is the way to go. So our first section is going to be the income statement, and this tells us whether or not the companies are making money. And then the beast mode is color coded, where the second most favorite thing I like looking at is going to be the light green and the favorite will be the light blue. And if you need to know what anything is, all you do is hover over the eye and a pop up box comes up and then you can scroll right through them and get all of the information. So first up, we've got Nvidia, their operating margin is 54.12%. It's the best on the day. And I love to have an operating margin over 10% for long-term companies. We can see that Meta comes in at 34.65, Tesla 9.18, Google 27.42, Microsoft 41.77, and Apple 29.82. For the net income margin, our winner is Nvidia again with a very impressive 48.84%. Coming in at number two is going to be Microsoft at 34.14%. Number three, Meta 28.98%, then Apple 25.3%, followed by Google 24%, and Tesla bringing up the rear at 15.49%. And we got a lot of information in the beast mode, capital ratios per share data, compounded annual growth rate. And the one I want to look at right now is going to be the balance sheet. And this tells us whether or not the companies are financially stable. And here we're looking at the total assets compared to the total liabilities, what I call the tattle ratio. Always like that to be above a two and the higher, the better. So Nvidia is coming in at 2.89 and we can see their total assets are 65.7 billion, total liabilities 22.8 billion, giving them a ratio of 2.89. Meta a little stronger at 3, Tesla 2.48, Google 3.38, Microsoft 2, and Apple bringing up the rear surprisingly at 1.21. 
Now the key performance metrics, these are all very insightful to the company's overall condition. And you'll notice we've got everything highlighted in blue here because I think these are important things to look at. And one thing you're gonna notice is blue is best in the category and we can see Nvidia is dominating. Revenue growth last year, our winner Nvidia at 125.85. And then look at this, our next nearest competitor is Tesla at 18.79%, which really tells us quite a bit. We've got the free cash flow margin and if you're wondering what that is, simply hover over it and the free cash flow measures the company's ability to expand its business and pay returns to shareholders using only the money generated through current operations. So it tells us they've got enough money coming in to pay the bills and grow the business. And obviously the more cash they've got on hand, the better, just gives them more options. Our winner again here is Nvidia, 44.35%. Coming in at number two, we've got Meta, 32.66%. And then we've got Microsoft, 28.06%. We got a little bit of a red flag here. Tesla is pretty low, coming in at 4.5%. Our rule of 40 indicator, this is dominated again by Nvidia, 170.2. My FNR indicator, this is what I call my down and dirty. And it simply sums up the free cash flow, the net income margin, and the revenue growth over the last 12 months. And the higher that number, the better and check this out, NVIDIA is absolutely dominating at 219.04. Uh, coming in at number two, much lower is Microsoft at 69.08. And then we've got the book value ratio. Anytime this is over one, that really gets my attention. Everything is pretty low here, so nothing too exciting on the book value. Management effectiveness tells us how well management is generating returns for investors. And we've got two things I like to look at. The return on equity, which everybody should be familiar with as a stock investor. And then what I call the 5R indicator. And this sums up all fives of the returns that are measured. And again, this is my own metric, just one that I like looking at. And the higher that number, the better. Here we've got Nvidia number one at 368.2. We've got Meta 125.9, Tesla 93.4, Google 129, Microsoft 158, and Apple surprisingly high here at 359. Next up, we've got the growth metrics, and this should be a no-brainer. Companies should be consistently growing their business. If I'm investing in them for the long term, I want that business to grow, I want their revenues to grow, and hopefully they can grow their margins as well. And what this shows us right now on a side-by-side -side comparison is one company, Nvidia, is absolutely dominating. Net income growth, 581.3%. Gross profit growth, 188.5%. Free cash flow, 609. EBITDA, 384. These guys are absolutely dominating from top to bottom. And if you want to go ahead and pause this and compare all of them, go ahead. But I can tell you it's a clean sweep for NVIDIA. Now, the last thing I want to look at today is going to be the revenue growth forecast. And NVIDIA's revenue growth forecast is 94.3%, which is impressive, especially given how much they grew last year already. Next up, we've got Meta Platform's revenue growth forecast, 17.8%. Tesla, whew, that's a bit of a red flag, only 2%. Really a disappointment because I'm a Tesla bull and that's a number I don't like seeing. Uh, Google or Alphabet, 13%. Microsoft, 15.5%. And ouch, another red flag. Apple, revenue growth forecast is only 1%. And then I included Amazon in here since they're part of the Magnificent Seven and their revenue growth forecast is 11.1%. Ultimately, you need to invest in your best stocks, and I really hope today's video helps you with your decisions. NVIDIA is my top pick. Sure, they are up 173% year to date, but let's not forget they have a 48.84% net profit margin, and their revenue growth rate is over five times higher than Meta, which is the next closest, and 94 times higher than Apple's. NVIDIA's current PE ratio is 75.37, but its forward PE ratio drops significantly to 49.09. In contrast, Apple has a P-E ratio of 35.23 and a forward P-E ratio of 30.6, showing only a modest improvement. When you look at the bigger picture, NVIDIA appears to be undervalued given its future potential, making it my number one pick for today. If you're serious about improving your investing skills, join our community. I share daily stock picks and trade alerts, and our active community helps each other become better investors. Join my Patreon to learn how to evaluate companies, invest long-term, and use options for short-term gains. Check out BeastModeAnalysis.com, a platform I created for side-by-side -side stock comparisons. It's only $30 a month and covers over 30,000 U.S. stocks plus five international markets. Keep it real and I'll see you in the next video.